Keep, Keep it lean up, up in my, my cup. cup. You got and to. And think about how many songs that one verse has created. Think about how many times that part of that or either that That's verse simple. is used as a Smoke hook Smoking at point up. Yep. Yeah. Even he used it, but other people definitely was. I like when they redid that draped up and drooped Drip up. Down. No, what, what I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about. Little Kiki. The Cody mm -hmm. sample still tipping on four four, riding on four four, yeah. still yeah. tipping on. That shit hard. The first that, time I seen Mike Jones' video was on uh, Uncut. Which video? It was that, they still used to play tipping. that shit late. Yeah. They oh, used that, to that's when you saw that one. Yeah. yeah. Still tipping on late. Well, Uncut has some classics, man. Classics. Even the songs we didn't like, the video was still entertaining as hell. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm trying to kick it tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That oh. video looked like it was shot in 1993. Smell, Smell like. like. What are you doing? What? what are you doing? I, bro, that shit, I was like, bro, I ain't know what was real and what wasn't, bro. But them all was songs that was real that yeah. people that shot their video for and just sent it in, huh? That hour used to go by so quick, though. Yeah, man, some of the videos were long as shit, too. <laughs> yeah. For real. Tip Drill, was, tip Drill was 15 minutes. Man, that shit was a BET docuseries. Man, Tip Drill was, tip Drill was about a 14-minute video. Am I bullshitting? That shit was long. They had a long version. You know what video long as hell? Jaheim first video. It could be. <laughs> Cause they have a whole story. Nigga, the whole video, it like even the, the little skip part, that shit, all that shit in slow motion. <laughs> and then the nigga dropped his car to get his car detailed, did a nigga drive, he ride around the whole city in this nigga car. He never washed the car, then he come back and just get back to do it. I gotta go back uh, and watch that shit. What that video long as hell? Hell no. Nah. Jaheim was that nigga, man. Who else had some long video? Sometimes the story works, sometimes it does. A long ass video, yeah. the original uh, a day, uh, Today Was a Good Day, Ice Cube. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. They remember that shit? Cause then he had the one part where he well, got stopped. Well, if you put them all together, yeah, the that's whole a whole joke. movie. Yeah. Man, nigga, Ice that- Ice Cube been making movies. That Warren G uh, and Nate Dogg regulate. That was a long ass video. Michael Jackson had all his videos long oh, as hell. But you didn't care. You yeah. didn't care, that, that man made a whole movie, Moonwalker. Say, this is gonna be me doing mo just videos. He always gave For you a, a good- movie, the length of a movie. You gonna sit here and watch it too. Mike will give you a good dance fight. He, he, fought, he fought himself in Claymation. That nigga got into it with some niggas in Mexico, danced the club up, started throwing bottles <laughs> everywhere. Grab all, all the liquor. Oh, you talking about- uh, the Marlon Brando was in there, kick him! Yeah. Right. Rock my world. That's the one First Chris of Tucker all, was in. Why right? he in Cuba with Chris Tucker? Yeah. Hey man, for real. If you go back and watch Michael Jackson, uh, the way you make me feel video, it's all Crips in that shit. And then like if you look on the wall, it say Crips. Uh, Nigga, what about remember the time? That's where that picture came from. Yeah. The picture they had with Michael, with Michael Jackson. Is it, it's, it's, a that little mean it's a shit. video. You'll but see, it. go back and watch the way wall. you make me feel video. Look well, on the walls. Remember the time is his longest video under Thriller. You think so? Hell yeah, they did the same. No, because he got this disappear. other video that is all claymation as long as hell too. What? He he like a California raisin. Mm. When he no, that's the, a moonwalker. That's remember a moonwalker. he got the, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he turned, yeah, he turned into a, a rabbit and shit. Yeah. yeah. See, so y'all niggas didn't watch Free Pull Willy. Pull over, boy, and get your ticket right here. <laughs> that's, that's what they say on that bad boy. That's what they say. <laughs> Mike got hits that don't nobody even talk about. The Free Willy song. Won't you just leave me alone? Remember that shit? Man, leave me alone. He made the video alone. about the tap The elephant man. He had the elephant yeah. man ball tap dancing. Well, yeah. hey, man. All right. Mike been that nigga. This ain't the Michael Jackson album. <laughs> But that's another show. <laughs> there you go. Some kind of way he always come up. Yeah. We show Mike much love over here. We in this bitch talking shit. One would more you, time. About you, to get Cause Mike was rent. fucking with new artists coming up. Who would you like to see him collaborate with right now, though? Gooch. <laughs> 
And that he, shit, he would. That shit awkward as fuck, though. He I would. thought you were going to say future of thug. Gooch. <laughs> He would have been got with Gucci. I know. Eventually. Man, that studio session be fun as a motherfucker. So Mike gonna let him. I think Mike would have got cool with everybody. Yeah. He would have been in the Taylor Gang, Jet Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody would gave Mike a chain. Man. Mike would have been 4 PL. He would have fought with Lil Baby? <laughs> Hell yeah. He would have did a Man, song. him and Lil Baby would have some shit so hard. Ooh. Lil Baby gonna ride that motherfucker. Put it together, what it be? Man, that shit it sound like It sound like what Mike song and what Lil Baby song. But the thing is, the shit go together so perfect. Lil Baby flow over Michael Jackson beat? DJs, make that happen. But you, this, what, this the part that's gonna fuck him up. Mike can copy anybody flow. So he gonna do Lil Baby shit better than him. Mm. Mm. He, he probably would have jumped on at least one of them DJ Khaled tracks too. Yeah, just a little mild tone hook. He did Khaled something with Freddie Gibbs. Cause Khaled would. That's same. what I'm saying. He would have yeah. freaked it. He would have put like Freddie Gibbs and Trick Daddy and <laughs> SZA on that bitch. I I don't see him fucking with Trick. Shit. Man, yeah. Why not? You crazy as hell. <laughs> Mike Khaled Khaled about Mike money. definitely sing along to. It. Cause I'm a thug. I think every day. Mike definitely will sing along. Oh, he gonna slow it down. All day, every day. <laughs> 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 how, how, how you say you don't know now, nigga? Oh, he would have bit that shit with the beatbox. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I said you don't know. <laughs> He dancing with the shit. What? Give him that shit. How you go? You don't know. You don't know. Mike singing Thug trick. Holiday would have been the most beautiful shit you ever oh, heard. Oh, yeah, that's the way. Oh, shit. Man, Mike would have fucked some <laughs> shit up, man. Oh, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he having a little fight dancing. Man, that nigga still hitting that mic shit. <laughs> you remember, uh, what, what Marvin Dixon? He in the bathroom, right? What? In, 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 in the Neon No Nair video? In the dude coming yeah, in yeah, dressed yeah. like Mike. Then you could just. Man, yeah. Mike. Telling you, man, he would have fucked that up. the places So it trick still on the song he just doing remakes. Man, it'd be an honor for Mike to take your shit. Yeah. What I'm saying, how how would Trick come after that? He got to bring that shit, did he? Oh, Trick very creative. <laughs> All right. He would have yeah. found a way to make that shit hard. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, Trick would have freaked it definitely. Yeah, after the after right did all that, here come Trick. Put your put my thumb all in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about eat a booty gang, Trick? <laughs> He still gonna be freaking, bro. He gonna be. I'm pulling up with my ass. Put that all in your eyes. You know what I mean? You ready to push with the legs up? Then blow it all in your butt. That's his favorite part. And when Mike come back, still with it. No, 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 no. So the nigga both stay, they stay in their lanes Boy, and the music just beautifully messed together. I'm telling you, together. man, Michael Jackson is a musical <laughs> genius. There's nothing he can't do, man. Alright, I'm with you, bro. I just had to see it like you done broke it down now. Oh, you had to see it. Oh, boy. Oh, you had to see it. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Welcome back. Welcome back. This your uncle, Mr. Mike Jackson. Mike Jackson. We need a little time for a dope charge. Favorite show to watch. <laughs> Just a little time. You don't know who this podcast is for? Niggas who went to court and got the charges dismissed. 
and walked out that bitch like George Jones. Yeah, he ran down the steps. <laughs> That's how you <laughs> went back to the hood, bragging like a motherfucker. Ran down the steps like Willie Dynamite. Yeah, like 20 years, I told him cry the shit. <laughs> Take that shit and try. <laughs> you a liar. They lost their paper, nigga. <laughs> Shit got dismissed, nigga. Yeah, nigga, that traffic ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this for everybody who ever drove to court for a suspended license ticket. Nigga drove. <laughs> <laughs> and pleading this case. Hey, man, I right, that wasn't me. That should be the first thing they probably ask the nigga. How did you get here? Oh, <laughs> the bus. What bus? What line? <laughs> Ain't no bus out here. <laughs> No, it was like a, his ass up. It was a church bus. <laughs> you ain't caught. We the county. Oh, we ain't even got a bus line. Ain't no bus. Hey, man. How did you get here this morning? I've been here since last night. Uh, I got a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga sitting there with the keys in his hand. <laughs> Your oh, Honor, shit. I did not hey, the know. The motherfucker asked me the question. They didn't get out the car at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Did I see you in the parking lot? <laughs> oh, this is the type of show this is, man. You got to think you lie out. Motherfucker be trying them to, hey man, when they pressure on. Nah, man, what people got to do is they got to stop messing people lie up. Well, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the first way people ask you if you lying. They just keep asking you questions. So when you said, <laughs> let you just keep digging a hole. No, what time was this? Okay. You know you don't fucked up, right? You, say... <laughs> you know you don't fucked up, right? So, so when was when was this supposed to happen? Oh. Okay. Okay. That's how they get you, though. Nay, hey, man. You gotta watch people laugh here, man. You didn't come back a month later. Bro, do you remember when you told me? <laughs> nah, I was drunk. I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga blame a lot on the drunk shit oh, quick. Oh, man. Hey, man, drunk motherfuckers is the worst, bro. One night, my cousin called me about 3 o'clock in the morning. He like, look, man, get up. My friend bring some hoes over there, man. They follow me from the club. They <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring them no. up here. Oh hey. no. No, he stayed right. He stayed by me. Oh. So I was goddamn, I was just gonna go unlock his door. Oh, okay. okay. Nigga, I get over there. <laughs> this nigga say, <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that? This nigga say, man, I drove so fast, so I drove off and left him home. <laughs> Stupid. Like, nigga, you ain't even think this lie out. <laughs> Bro, what if Hell you were ready no. to see which hoe you were gonna choose? <laughs> Nigga, I don't never trust nobody to bring you no hoe. <laughs> the motherfuckers don't know what kind of Yeah, it's, they it's don't know a, what kind of hoes you like. It's an obligation. If a nigga come with them hoes, they all working together. Yeah. They all in cahoots. I think which you got to like. None of these bitches. I think you gotta get your own. <laughs> you gotta bring your own hoes. <laughs> these scallywags out of here, man. <laughs> don't hook me up. Cause now you gotta cut the friend off. <laughs> What did he do? Yeah. Brought the wrong kind of hoe. Right. You got to be self-sufficient. That's the message in this. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be able to exist in the ecosystem. Bro, but that's the common saying when you see your buddy. Like, man, where the hoes at? Like, you got to say You that. really should stop asking that. But it's just, I don't really I want him to tell me where the hoes at. The nigga who asks that always be the nigga who don't never have nothing to say when the hoes are actually there. <laughs> Nigga get quiet. Nigga in the get ball, quiet. Well, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> Do something, nigga. Well, nigga, you, you, you at every goddamn day. The whole thing is on the meat. So we this y'all friend who be asking we about us. It's seven niggas. She ain't going to say shit. Hoes. hoes. Are you, <coughs> his, don't nigga. call them hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, are y'all hoes? You? They like, yes, we hoes. We got to chat it on But this is the crazy own. part. Do I you think you were going to bring them for real? The women say when they go to the club and there's a lot of dudes, they say the same thing. Like, it's a lot of hoes in here. That's just everybody's shit. Yeah. So they they address niggas as hoes. And I'm not so saying hoes and hoes as niggas. Not like individual uh. hoes. I'm just saying, like, I guess hoes is just, that's how we count a group of people. Yeah, there's okay. Some hoes in this house. They right. were talking about everybody. But it's kind of specific. With that song? Yeah, like, I'm just saying, hoes, this is a general statement. It could be people. 
Right. The hoes equal people. People hoes. People equal hoes. One to one. Them yin yang twins, they had a good run with that music shit. I remember that music going crazy. Hoes make you think of yin yang twins. That's where your mind goes. What's a why you twerk? You got, you got some action off that? Nah, well, a few little booty shaking dances at the skate ring. So I never skated. I just used to go get my little dance. You can't skate? Well, that was I, like I never chose to do that. That, that was like the strip club for young niggas. Yeah, wasn't? the skate ring. Fifth yeah. grade, we had school spirit. It was the teen Thursday. club. It was close to the teen yeah. club. Yeah. Oh, okay. You was out there in them streets early? Well, yeah, but I, <clears> you know, I just did what I had to do. What age was this? I was in fifth grade. We had school spirit night. Oh, so school, that's about so, 10. So you, you remember about the 10 night or 11? Yeah, so we so went to who, You got a little action. Yeah. 10 or 11? No, I I went fucking then. You just. I was just getting danced on. If nobody, nobody Why you bringing you this up? In, man? Ooh, Why you brought up this? the music? You said Yin Yang Twins, and somehow we get to this weird ass story. You in fifth grade. What <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, they blew the weed on you, didn't they? Nigga asked me what I was doing, bro. Nigga get a weed in the air. I was in fifth grade. <laughs> what happened, man? We used to go to skate ring, man. <laughs> Nigga just oh, throw a snitch. Man, man. <laughs> Yin Yang Twins. I, I, I was having good. sex. I went having sex. <laughs> I did touch a girl coochie one time. <laughs> man, y'all hot. <laughs> y'all hot. Bro, we were talking about Yin Yang Twins. Man, so you, you asked me, did I get action off the song? I said no. I said that. Bro. Man, That's I'm just right. going to cover my ears cool. back up because the shit you talking, I don't even want to hear all that All right, shit. go back to the Michael Jackson trick. I wanted baby. to hear his, I, compilation I wanted album. to hear this nigga tell us the plot of ATL. Not because it was getting That's what I wanted to hear that nigga do. I wanted to I'm let that nigga's ahead. lie unfold. I'm getting there. That's what you like, was living with your own dream. And then I snatched the necklace back from the bitch. Go ahead. That was it, bro. That was the conclusion of the story. So one night in fifth grade, you got lucky. <laughs> That's, that was what you were telling me. I ain't get laid in fifth grade. I know you didn't. I said you got lucky. Oh. Well, no, I was getting danced on. It went, I was a man in fifth grade. So How was you the man in fifth grade? I had one. I had came in second in the spelling bee. Don't nobody give a fuck about second place. <laughs> and then I had... Who beat you? I, I, <laughs> Who I said got, you was the man? That what the school said, shit. The school? <laughs> They let me do the announcements on some some Fridays. Who beat you though? Oh, and then let other kids do the announcements too, right? Yeah. That was in your in your you grade. Stop acting like you fucking special. Somebody in your class beat you? Nah, he went in my class. They was in fifth grade though as well. Oh, so you was number one in your grade? Nah, in my class. Oh. You know you had different classes in fifth grade. But you was the shit in your class. In when the it whole, came to in the school, shit. bro. Yeah. Shout out to West Plain Elementary. Oh, okay. What's up? What you was known for? <sighs> you brought the fifth grade up. Now we're gonna ask you. Well, since y'all inquiring, I, I played Scrooge in our Christmas play. And you did a good job. Yeah. Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, so did this. You now. do a good job. Bro, an excellent job. Proud My teacher told me then. She said, "I don't know what you want to do, like career wise, but you a star." The teacher told you that. What's, what's the teacher's name? Miss Gant. Look Ms. at the Gant. camera, give her some. Thank you, Miss Gant, and look at me now. What? She, she watched this Ms. show. Miss Gant, you were so very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but what am I looking at? Miss Gant, wrong again. <laughs> yep, you sure know how to pick them, Miss Gant. What I'm looking at? She called this shit, she knew, she knew what I was here. She watched this too. No, she, you where she thought you, you, you was bro. going? You don't. Man. Got to reinforce it. Can't tear a nigga down without building them up. <laughs> this shit just crazy. So look, I had to do, I had to do the play three times because I had to. Yeah, encore performance. Yeah, so I had to do it for the parents the night before. That's the PTA meeting. Right. Mm -hmm. Then the day after, kindergarten to third grade, I had to do the play. And then fourth and fifth. So I was noticing, I was like, I don't want to keep doing the same line. That one I chose to improv a little bit and take it on my lead, like, so the lines, they were like, damn, he going off the top. He didn't do the same shit earlier. Fucking up yeah, the play. you didn't stick to the script? That's <laughs> no, what you mean? No, I didn't know who You just was made the shit up as you went along. Bro, what was, you had screws saying? Each you, performance <laughs> gets better and better. <laughs> do you know people were skipping school, uh, skipping class in elementary? No, that shit wouldn't happen. But they were skipping to come to that play. Oh, he giving himself way too much credit now. 
like a damn third and fourth grade teacher ain't gonna notice six, <laughs> six missing nine year olds. <laughs> You think they skipped? The teacher brought him in there, nigga. Bro, they the are. teacher brought him in and left. This nigga like, oh man, that whole Bro, they class skipped for me. They are eight. <laughs> so look, you think they gonna skip right. that shit and miss lunch? Come on, man. You know, at the end of the play, so everybody come out and get they, you know, they clap it up for who played who. Nigga, they said my name for Scrooge. Oh my God. That's when you. That's when you got it, <laughs> Nick. Boy, it that, was like a was whole the, fucking eruption. All them I, fucking cafeteria I, chairs. Boom, 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 boom. That's, it went that's crazy. when you got it your went name. Crazy. Nav. What the, the fuck that got to do? The I, star I, I don't grill. know, man. You brought this shit up. No, I, I, I feel you because I ripped the play in fifth grade. What too. was your play? Wizard of Oz. Who were you, the wizard? I was the wizard. Mm. That and makes I talk perfect in a sense. grown man voice as a little and, kid. As if right. <laughs> I talk like in a grown man scary voice, like a deep voice. And when I came out, everybody went crazy because they thought they knew it was a, a, like a grown man. But like, it was you. Yeah. They was like, Aah! yeah. It was, it was like, it was like the wizard being revealed. You <laughs> Damn, me? you could tell who went in the fifth grade play. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Shit, evidently you, nigga. We got stories. Well, I, ain't, I wasn't in no fifth grade play. Oh, we I know was, his we story. was getting ready for the state exam in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all in school trying to go to performing arts class, you know. You went into it the might have been low. fourth, but now that I think grade? about it, yeah, but yeah, because fifth grade I don't think was too cool. No wait a minute, fourth grade was some bullshit. Fifth grade was all right. It's just stuff I wish I would have got more into coming up age, though, for real. I would have been on the chess team, debate team, all that type of stuff. Yeah, man, we got to start doing more stuff. Yeah. It's all right. You can get money for some of that stuff, too. A lot of that stuff. I think that's why all the British actors be kicking our ass. Nigga. Cause they got little programs. They got like after school programs for the arts. They got to bring back to. bootleg movies. Yeah. That's why ain't no actors being groomed. What's your favorite oh, bootleg movies? movie? Like the, the My low favorite budget. bootleg movie is uh <coughs> my favorite low budget movie of all time is Who Made the Potato Salad. Mm. That shit's so goddamn funny. And uh what Black Ray Spring Ray Break. No, that's the one with D-Ray. Oh. And uh, Jaleel White, Clifton Powell. Okay. That nigga's cold. Man, that whole movie funny as hell. Clifton Powell, he dope as fuck. Shout out to Coke Daniels. Coke Daniels made that shit. Yeah. But it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers in there, and the movie funny as hell. That's one of my favorite. Low budget. Yeah, low budget joints. And I, like I said, Black Spring Break. Fat Beach was a classic. Fat Beach was good. Nigga, I was the bus, three strikes. Uh, what's that bus shit? Uh, Get on the bus? No, they they went down to Miami for like spring break. Ride. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cold motherfucker there. Nigga, low budget shit. Yeah. I done seen damn near every black movie. Tripping? Hell yeah. The Tripping. nigga was sitting there yeah. Tripping. daydreaming all the motherfucking time. Tripping. Even go back to that Marlon Wayne shit, The Six Man. Mm hmm. Senseless. Yo. The Black Knight. Well, it was a low budget shit. Was good. Mm. Now, if you want to go low, low budget, it's some shit out there. Oh, Snoop Dogg, low budget movie. The East Siders is a classic. Mm. Hell yeah. That, that movie from Detroit, Buffs. Buffed up, I was just about to say, yeah. I was just about to say Buffed up. <clears throat> Would you count state property? Have you ever seen Yo, this movie called <laughs> Grandma's Foot? Hell no. Nah. It's one of them low budget ass movies it's about the grandma, she got some nasty ass cut on her foot. It's a, it's a comedy parody type movie. It's stupid as hell, but I watched it. Yeah, yeah I got I the hookup. Hook I'm yeah. about it. You gotta say I'm yeah. about it. I'm about What's it. What's the one with Silk the Shocker? The blue one. Uh, Hot Boys. Yep. It don't seem like it now, but Shotters. Shotters, yeah, that was low budget. Was, that's, that's a classic low budget. Mm -hmm. She had paid in full then. Yeah. Nigga, janky promoters. 
Yeah. yeah. That shit fun as a motherfucker. That shit ain't even really just in like that. It just kind of went off. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, Jesus, Jesus did before. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Would you consider all about the Benjamins or that's black? No, hell no, that ain't no that was, that was some money. Shit, yeah. that I'm some saying it's like, would you say, oh, all right, they can't consider that one. You saying, you saying low budget or uh, indie? Okay, well, yeah, indie. We'll keep it like that then. Yeah, they what had else? budget for that motherfucker. I done seen a damn near all them. Yeah, I said yeah, three straight. All them black movies that be in the, the, we say the, the wash? $3 being at Walmart. The wash. Yeah. Would that yeah. be considered one? Yeah. yeah. It seemed like it had a little money behind it, but it's low budget. Low mm. budget. I feel like it is. Baps. Baps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Baps is a classic. Shit, nigga, I watched, you remember the HBO movie, Strapped? I think so. That sounds With familiar. um Fredro Starr and Bukeem Woodbine well, and that. that. They were selling the guns and shit, or trying to. If we, yeah, if we do yeah. that, we got to do uh, <clears throat> New Jersey Drive. Hell yeah. Blue Hills Avenue. Yeah. Oh, Lackawanna Blues. Oh. Yeah. That's a good ass one. Idle Wild Count or no? Nah. Um, that's it's a major. Yeah. yeah. No major. It's okay. They Killer had a, Season. They, they had a rollout. Killer out. Season Killer was Season was good. Killer Season is crazy. Slate Property. He said it down. Oh, okay. And they have said it. Media man. Media man. Choices? Choices. Hell yeah. I did a cartoon thing about Media Man. Watch that shit. It's uh, high movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, That's That was dope. Uh, shit, boy. We got to get more black dope cinema movies, out, man. Trip. I'm high. It's a dope movie. What is that? We got to get some more. We got to get some more black cinema. Let's do something. Man, I, niggas ain't got all these cameras. I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, we do. We got them. We need to go shoot a motherfucking movie. Got the best editing style. What's another good low budget shit? Penitentiary. Mm-hmm. Yo. Dolomite. All of them Stole black the exploitation mic. ones, though, account. What I'm <clears> thinking <throat> about, I can't, what's... Man, what's the shit Bankroll had did? <clears throat> I don't know the name of it. Well, yeah, that was, that was a good one, too. Fresh? <laughs> Fresh? Hell yeah! Yeah, that was good one. That motherfucker had a young Samuel in that motherfucker. And, uh... And he was old. What's that dude's name? The Spanish dude? Juan, John Paul? Or? Oh, yeah, Giancarlo. Yeah, Giancarlo, yeah. whatever. He dope, though. About Booty Call. Booty Call? Nah, that one. Nah, uh, that one too major. Hey, but if you gonna do apes. that one. <clears throat> you know, another movie that was funny that got, that didn't do good, though, that, that Jamie Foxx, that held up movie where the nigga got oh, trapped yeah, yeah. in the gas station. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we need some more good movies, man. We need some more good black movies. You know what? They ain't even gotta be good. Let the people decide. Yeah, they some of that shit, motherfuckers be like, that ain't good. And some of them movies you enjoy like a motherfucker. Them be the yeah, ones that you watch reason. all the time, yeah. though, because it's just sometimes you can't afford them shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one. You can't. James, nah. nah, I can't. Nah. You can't necessarily. I don't know. I guess it'd be a B-list movie though. Yeah. It was low budget, but it was a good one. It, it had a good, yeah, good storyline and all that. Mm-hmm. I nah, I can't say that one. It's a lot of them though, man. Man, why they fired a mama? Cause he stole. I don't know. I guess they thought she put him in place or something. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of them black movies on um, Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah, for sure. Man, it's this movie about this lady. It, the movie called Dirty Gertie from Harlem. So she like, this lady real fine, right? But she just be drinking and cussing and smoking and acting like a man. And then you have to watch it. I don't want to fuck it up, but it's, it's interesting. That lady look good as fuck on that movie, though. You know? And it's a black and white movie. You know what was crazy? I, I was like, this is a little wild. 
you know what I'm saying, the inevitable defeat of Mr. and Pete. Uh-uh. Oh, that's good as fuck on Netflix. The black boy with the Asian kid. Man. They, the mama. Brother, the, Ma yeah. go in the bathroom and give some gully gully oceans to pay for their food. And, and the son and, called and, 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 and the son called him and he come back to eat the food and the little Asian boy is staying with him. And the little Asian boy is like, I'm full. I don't want in the little and boy. Said, like, well, you, you eat this eat shit. <laughs> you go eat My it. mama suck it. You eat it. <laughs> it. <laughs> you, it was cold, dog. <laughs> Nah, you got to run the whole What's it called? Mr. The, and Pete. The defeat, the inevitable defeat of yeah. Mr. and Pete. Yeah, I don't like say that. all that other shit. I just say Mr. Yeah, and Pete. Get you some words. <laughs> get you some words. Yeah, just yeah, she in that. Minute. She played the mama, don't she? That's right. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, I got another good low budget movie. Posse. Posse ride. Posse ride. I'm going to get you soccer. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get, get you, out. sucker. That With was. boys in the hood, kind of low budget. Nah, that's John Singleton. Uh, that was his first one, though. He still had a budget, though. Oh, okay. Don't be a menace is mainstream at that point. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Is not though. Hollywood Shuffle. That's definitely one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Paper you know, Soldiers. Oh man, oh, all, all the seventies black the paper Mac. Soldiers. Hey, oh, Paper man. Soldiers is funny as hell. Funny as a motherfucker. Yes, when Benny Singer was whooping that was funny as ass. hell in that bitch. He was the funniest motherfucker in there. Smokey Suarez did. Oh, Max yeah. Julian, he did just that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's a lot of good low-budget black movies. You know what they said? I saw, I think you said the shit. You saw how Twitter done took the shit. You know they be running off with shit we be saying. You know this, right? They be running off with shit you be saying. Turn that shit into something else. The LL Cool J shit. No, not even that one. The Florida Evans. Oh. Talking about how she the worst she was. TV mom. She kept them Ever. in the hood 30 oh, extra yeah. years. Ever. You been saying this, though. Yeah. This, this, she this, was the real villain. This some lack riding talk. Man, ever since we you were talking about L LL Cool J <laughs> saying they call him Big Ellie. <laughs> that shit all over Twitter now. Man, yeah, that like, was like, LL Cool J was a terrible person right in front of our ass. Right. <laughs> they showing the nigga video when he was getting a haircut with a hat on. This nigga played a girl leg like a guitar. <laughs> nigga was at a peep show eating fruit. <laughs> hey. The it, nigga was in the motherfucking waterfall with jeans <laughs> and a fubu hat. And nobody said shit. shit bro. In the house was a, a horrible ass uh, sitcom. You ain't like it? Wasn't you a little boy? No, you was from Moesia. Man, fuck you. Know <laughs> that nigga told the girl in her song, her man drink too much and smoke too many blunts. <laughs> On Hey Lover. Yeah. Hey who? On Hey Lover. He was uh, dirty Mackie. Yeah. That's what he, he even said it. They say him and Jamie had got the hit on uh They did. Yeah, they did. That's a, that's a, that's yeah, a good little story. He said the nigga <laughs> went snap out of, out of character. <laughs> hey, man. You got to be a cold-ass nigga. Don't snap out of character. You he, he chilling. Uh, it you don't not take even, much. You not even on set today. Nigga, chill. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you have no scene. You got to have that mindset. <laughs> He just up there to regulate some shit. That nigga did the joke. Jamie Foxx did the joke about the shit on uh, on the special. Yeah, and he done told a, a couple different times. Yeah, nigga, we got a game time. today. What? what? Fuck, we don't. We got a scene today. <laughs> <laughs> they said, buddy, can slap them. <laughs> like try to get him geeked up, you know, like slapping him in the head or something. Like, hey, man. <laughs> Chill out. Bro, do that move, no more. That move Brother, ain't that goddamn important for you to keep slapping me, nigga. We not gonna win no Oscar. Don't slap me like that no goddamn <laughs> more. Hey, man, I told you, stop fucking tapping me, man. <laughs> we on the same nigga, we on the same team. <laughs> team. <laughs> you better hand me the ball. <laughs> why the fuck are you tapping me, you son of a bitch? Bro, why are you going full speed? <laughs> This nigga out there getting real penalty horse collar. <laughs> hey man, see, hey, see if you can get LL attention. 
Yo L. Yo L. Oh, yo, I don't answer to that, man. They call me Big L. <laughs> Been saying that, bro. Yeah. I knew he was a bad person when he told everybody, forget Oreos, eat Cool J cookies, and never drop no <laughs> Cool J cookies. It was in the work. It fell through at the last minute, though. What What's his best song, Lo? I'm bad. Uh. Nigga came right Over out. Rock the bells? Yep. No rapper can rap quite like I can. I take a muscle bound man and put his face in the sand. That's big, tough, bully shit right there. <laughs> Mama said, knock you out. He had that too. That song off. And you know it. I ain't say it was good. I'm good now. That nigga had a boxing got. ring in his basement. You like it. I hate that song. God, you know I hate that fucking song. You like it, bro. Don't, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what it is, though. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't been on in a minute. You ain't dropped shit in a minute. I mean, you still you. What you want us to call it? A return? <laughs> the return don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years, but you stopped. <laughs> Big LA You've been sequel. gone for years. You've been gone for a little minute. You did six seasons in the house. <laughs> when Mike did a song with LL? Hmm? Michael Jackson? Yeah, when he did a song with LL? They have one, don't, no, I'm just playing. Uh -oh. I don't know, I don't think he would have. Mike don't really be in, in New York like that. <coughs> he would have definitely got some in with Dr. Dre. For sure. And Ice Cube probably would have wrote him something hard. I know him and Nipsey and YG would have did something. Him and Nipsey would have went crazy. Oh, yeah. oh man, that would have been crypt out too. Him, Nipsey, OT Genesis, and Snoop Dogg. Mm. Mm. Bro, Mike was in the game a long time. Ain't nobody ever tried him. You know why? Yes, they did. Who? His daddy. He <laughs> <laughs> got tried his whole life. Only man. motherfucker that ever crossed him. <laughs> hey, you see? He can take that beat. He can take a. Hey. You never know. What if Mike made all that shit up? What if he was the bully? Like, what if he used to beat up Joe and shit? He was slapping the shit out of Joe. At some all point, right, he Joseph. probably did. Yeah, after I, I, I he got enough money, like, man, I'm the man of this motherfucker. Because, I mean, look at the shit Mike wore. Ain't nobody going to try you if you got two motherfucking belts with diamonds on. Yeah. Two? And they not even, like, through the loops. They just on your hips. Mm-hmm. You dress like an admiral. Hey man, nobody even gave Mike flag for the shit he did. He wore two fucking carpal tunnel gloves and didn't even need them. At all. He didn't even have carpal tunnel. <laughs> That's crazy. L Lose. He did pull some shit together. I, I think that shit was some bullshit if you look at it close though. How in tune do you gotta be as a grown man to faint when Michael Jackson started moonwalking? You like would've said, Oh, Michael! You, they, they, you say, Nobody oh, thinks they gonna faint. <laughs> but I know you can stop yourself like that. Nobody, no, once it happens, once it happens, <laughs> once it happens, <laughs> it happens what, fast, bro, it just come over you. No. Nah. That's, that's, how they, that's how they talk to you so, afterwards. So after you faint, would you have been mad? They you ain't gonna know. Yeah, you missed the whole time show. you wake up, Michael Jackson gone. you back, you're not where you were sitting. Michael Jackson gone. So, so you paid all that money so for the time you get up, faint. it sounds like you lying. Man, I seen Michael Jackson. Here he go. We gotta take you to the hospital, man. <laughs> no, I ain't bullshit. Man, here you go. How many fingers I'm holding up? <laughs> so what he did? And he, he walked right up to me, man. And <laughs> then he jumped back and he started moonwalking. <laughs> Fell out. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to get in the car. I believe you got a concussion. <laughs> hey, so if you fade at the Michael Jackson concert, nigga just started moving you back so they could get closer. Yeah. Man, you got to yeah. see the ambulance. They you got to drink a back. bottle of water. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody pass you back peacefully. They got a little section for people who done passed out. They anticipated it. 
So they got seats blocked off. No, oh, man. <laughs> it, and it's any and everybody. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Chico Bean. When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks curated for your taste and size. Your style isn't one size fits all. It's all about what suits your body and what suits the movement and moment. Stitch Fix Freestyle is your trusted style destination where you can discover and instantly buy created items based on your style, likes, and lifestyle. Whether you're looking for a brand you love or to try a new one. At Stitch Fix Freestyle, you can shop over a thousand brands and styles personalized to your size and fit. With styles for workouts to work with, for lounging around the house, or for a night out on the town. Stitch Fix Freestyle has clothes for any occasion. Plus, there's no subscription required, and they offer free shipping, returns, and exchanges. That's stitchfix.com backslash 85south to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. So get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com backslash 85south. That's stitchfix.com backslash 85south. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and 85 South Show. Listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash 85 South. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy DC on Fly, and BetterHelp can assist you with achieving your goals and the happiness that you all deserve, okay? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly videos on phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. That's right, it's not a crisis line, it's not a self-help, it is a professional counseling done securely online. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. Yes, she's gonna be personal to you. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed, right? Okay. Visit betterhelp.com slash 85 South. That is better help and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health, okay? Yo, it's Chico Bean. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood's go-to from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and the Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2022. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code 85SOUTH2022. That's code 85SOUTH2022. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2022 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms may apply. So you got to buy two tickets in case one you faint. Mm, they send you to your faint seat. No. That's how shit be, man. No. They put you all on top of each other. See, you brought the Michael <laughs> Jackson shit back up. I told you. Yeah, you back to it. And then got to talk about Mike. No, we don't. Asshole, man. Hey, that's him. That's him. I'm, I ain't, man, I'm really coming up in 2022. I'm sitting up in here with two movie stars, man. Yeah. 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 You know, you are you are the people that you hang around. We, we, we you know. Try to hang around better motherfuckers. Make sure you, you, your light shine bright. Yeah. You know, and then you know you get We know who real in here though. <laughs> Ain't nobody realer than you, Lo. <laughs> <laughs> you know who we know who the real ones are. <laughs> but like I feel like this shit still all trickles back down to the 85 South show. Like it's like a big <laughs> umbrella. It's an umbrella? Yeah. This shit like Motown right now. It's a conglomerate. Yeah. You know. That's what the 85 South show is built on. Respect my conglomerate. Yeah, you know. At the foundation of our foundation, it's just a whole bunch of real nigga shit. That's what we built the foundation on. Like, 
you know, when they build a building, they like they clear the dirt first. It was mm -hmm. like they cleared the dirt and then they put the real nigga shit, then put the concrete on top of that. It's similar to an oligarchy. Yeah. I could dig. Yeah. They fucking with this shit in Persia too. All up and through, all up and through the outbacks. Shout out my Persia. The Galapagos Islands. You definitely yeah. saw New Zealand check in. I, yeah, I told you, you saw New Zealand in this bitch. Yeah. N uh, Norway too. Got my Norwegian niggas. Norwegians. Niggas on this. Uh. Yeah. South of France. Small village in the south of France. You know who else watched this? The Native Americans. Love them. The chief want to come on here. <laughs> the chief of what? The chi I yeah. forget. I don't know the name oh, of the yeah, tribe. You don't want to the right tribe. tribe. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to like, say the yeah. wrong tribe. And then they chief be like, I will come. Yeah. <laughs> so now he done bumped up in front of the other chief. Yeah, the chief yeah. going to have to come on here and smoke some weed out the peace pipe. Mm. And talk his shit. And talk his shit. You ever been to the, to, to, I've been to the Indian Reservation and they invite me only to like when come I went, kick it with them, but I only never went, go. I went one time. You kicked it with them? No, I went on there to buy some blunts. They on, got, on they the got, reservation? Yeah. You drove on there, they, they, they let you go? Yeah, they let you on there. It's a lot of shit over there. You just bought, a, where were you at, a casino? No, I was in um, Minnesota. What would be the first international city you would want to hit? That I, the first international city I would want to hit? International tour? Um, yeah. Like to do a show? Yeah, for like the, uh, the 85 South Show. Shit, London. Mm. I go to London with it. Just got to go to London, bro. Like, no, I'd like to go to Africa and do some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Ghana. Yeah, anywhere in, anywhere in Africa. Mm. Yeah, somewhere over there. Spin the globe and just put your finger down. Wherever that <coughs> motherfucking land, that's where we'll do this shit at. I'd do this shit in Kazakhstan. That's where Bora at from. Yeah, that's a real place. <laughs> right. Yeah. High hopes. Hey man, we appreciate everybody who's been uh, watching all that good content on the app. App Calculator. What you think of the app, man? I fold out. The live shows look immaculate on that motherfucker. Man, talk yeah. your shit. I gotta grab some pieces okay. again. Like, bro, I ain't even on, like, on okay. some. Man, I, I think it's past 4K. Hey, I don't know the K's, but it's oh, better than 4K. Go up. Yeah. They can bro, go up. what them niggas did with that live show, bro, that shit just. Them niggas got in their editing and production bag. They got a camera with a real eyeball in it. I don't. <laughs> I knew it was something when that nigga, I was coming up to the place and that nigga Craig was up the street, like 40 miles up the street, and a camera was following the car. And that nigga was getting footage of the sky and the whole city. So he's just driving a drone. He's just driving a drone. Them niggas got some money in that damn equipment shit. Who? 85, sir. Now, the crazy part is, have you seen the footage? The what? You saw the footage? Yeah. Of what he shot? Yeah, okay. But he, he didn't even get that much. He just got the... He didn't have he, a lot of... It, it, I don't think don't he had a lot long. of battery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially when you do it like that. He was zipping in and out of shit. Hey, Lowe, they yeah. been killing they been killing Rick Ross. What happened? <laughs> hey, man. What happened? They said the nigga ate some of them Taco Bell wings. Man, stop. Man, <laughs> Somebody the, did put that on the ace. The, the, the main don't went wild. <laughs> They got some real wings, though. Where, how they do it? What do you use? I don't know. How you made them? You got to be a what sick motherfucker to get in that drive through and ask for a 10-piece Taco Bell salsa verde wing. <laughs> how Where are the grease at? I don't what know. What you use? 
The same grease they brown the ground beef. Mm mm. That boy that in water. <laughs> yeah. In the bag. They steam that shit. In That's the bag. It. I don't know how they cook it the way. They put that in the bag, bro. In boiling water. Maybe boiling they got water. a wing cooker now. Yeah. They got an air fryer. Air fryer, yeah. There you go. Oh my goodness. Because the wings are obviously already made, they frozen. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't eat. You already ate one? I would no. That's something I wouldn't do. If they were right here right now, you wouldn't But eat? I wouldn't touch them. That's a smart move. I yeah, I don't even eat Taco Bell. You was with the wing shortage. I don't even understand how the fuck Taco Bell got All wings. All of a sudden you just got wings. You what the last they, nigga on the list to get wings, bro. What if they went in just <clears throat> bought bought them all out? They bought them all out. Bought them the market out. Monopoly. Wow, now you gotta go to Taco Bell. You gotta that. come to us, nigga. Mm-hmm. And they cheat. You gotta think, Taco Bell don't try everything. They don't went into the breakfast game. That's terrible. You can subscribe to Taco Bell for ten dollars a month. And yeah, and get taco, thirty ta a taco, a taco every, every day. day. <clears throat> you wouldn't get no subscription. Nah. Now you know who I would want. want who? American Deli. You want? You got it. <laughs> I wish I could get like American Deli gift cards or some shit. You can. You're just too lazy to go get it. Bro, I'm there. They don't have them. Did you ask? Them? No, I don't. I'm not gonna ask. But they they did go up on the wings at American Deli though. How much are they now? <laughs> they damn near a dollar a wing. <clears throat> That's just preposterous. So you getting twenty wings, twenty dollars? They'd be like nineteen eighty seven. That's a damn. <laughs> <laughs> that inflation shit real, man. Yeah. yeah. You used to eat out good for thirty. Forty dollars, two people. Now, nigga, you could get a steak cheaper than chicken now. Yeah. Chicken wings, that is. You might be right. We ain't know how good we had it, man. And then they done gave everybody these food stamps now. We took chicken for granted. They been loading their ass up with the pandemic shit. If you got students in, uh, you know what I'm saying, school and stuff, they been loading you up. We thought we were safe. Nigga, I took my cousin to the store. Nigga, her receipt, her balance was so long. I think she had like 17,000 worth of stamps. And she spent it all? No. Oh, I was about to say. She, she gonna save them like, if we have Thanksgiving dinner, she she bring the, she get the Thanksgiving dinner stuff like that. She save her stamps. She don't even so let you what, buy them. Okay, so she go crazy. Yeah. This time. That's smart. So like, if they That's planning like the dinner. That's like telling all the business. That's enough. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just saying, if they planning yeah. the dinner, she go ahead and say, I'm bringing two turkeys, and like she tell you what she gonna do. And it be good turkeys. She gonna call you when this come out and be like, don't be on there telling all my motherfucking business. I ain't say her right. name. <clears throat> she know who you talking about. She know, but you know, the family know too. How is the family taking your new fame? Uh, they still treat me, you know. They always treated me like the chosen one, though, so it's like, it, it ain't changed. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas just done had the best life. <laughs> I can't so believe you was the chosen one in your household. <laughs> I can't believe they tricked us into listening to that bullshit-ass fifth grade story. <laughs> I ain't letting that go. Low man, I'm telling you. Oh. Next time, I'm gonna send you the footage of my, bro. Never mind. Go ahead. Talk your shit. I seen I seen one of my buddies. I went to elementary about five months ago. You That's the it. first thing he remember. What? He said, bro, you probably don't even remember you in that damn Christmas play. I said, I damn do remember. That was the nigga whole highlight in his school career. <laughs> the fuck I ain't remember. I remember, nigga. The nigga had 11 other grades. By the time that nigga got to 8th grade, he's like, hey, it's me. <laughs> remember? Nigga, I humbug, <laughs> baby. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas man. You don't remember? <laughs> nigga fell off in 7th grade. <laughs> Who's your 3rd grade teacher? <laughs> you do know me. Man. I did say that in the play, though, by humbug. Yeah, you said it. And you said that you jazzed it up, didn't you? You said yeah. that you hit it, didn't you? Bro, let me tell y'all one of the highlights. Because <laughs> they had a narrator on the Christmas play, right? So they were like, as the student, 
comes up and tap Mr. Scrooge on his legs. But I was short in fifth grade. The nigga tapped me, but I looked all down and exaggerated. Nigga, no parents went wild. They're like, this nigga stop. <laughs> He's gonna eat he down and tell this whole story. <laughs> I ain't gonna give it too much, but I ain't. Nobody gives a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Y'all asking me questions. I've been stopped. No, but it's funny to watch you go into it. Well, I ain't gonna tell you. You really think he did up. something? Yeah, he know he did. Yeah, I got, I got video. He got video. Yeah. Send it in. All right. Please, let's run that. What is it on? What format? I gotta figure. Well, I know they can. They can figure it out. It's on VHS. Look, now this is the last thing I'm gonna say about the play. <laughs> Nigga, my mom, my mom and dad, we ain't had no camcorder. Somebody else parents uh recorded. They said, that's your son. My mama said, yeah. He said, I'm gonna make sure y'all get a tape. <laughs> so that's how we got the damn tape. We ain't had no damn camcorder. I appreciate that. That's I appreciate up, that. Yeah. So basically you won a ghetto Oscar. Yeah. If you want to call it that, yeah. Yeah. That's basically what it is, though. How did your play go, Clay? Oh, man. This did somebody record it for you? Hell no. <laughs> if they did, they were white people. They weren't finna give up. <laughs> I would, but I can't. <laughs> I, I cut it off when he came out. <laughs> <laughs> I only got Mary Allison. <laughs> Your boys ain't tricked, and they were like, oh, he's a nigga. Cut it off. <laughs> I'm not even sure he's in the right grade. <laughs> Can you talk to kind of a Kind of a tall guy to be. <laughs> you sure that guy's in fourth? <laughs> wow, so we're putting sixth graders in the play, huh? He well, should be in big kid school. school. <laughs> Supposed to be playing JV, not in plays. Uh, wow, Sunflower. <laughs> hey, you remember when Will Smith? Was in, I had to go back to like the uh, second pre grade. Yeah, second grade. He that was in that play, the tall ass nigga. That's how you funny. are, Clay? Nah, I wasn't that tall. Oh. Not as a kid. So, I Los Jean do no acting in school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't remember what it was. Oh, you <laughs> oh, were one of those niggas on the side. He was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were a nigga saying you a treat. Yeah. <laughs> you was a treat. Background noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh Didn't have Wait. too many lines, huh? <laughs> nah. It's all right. Nah, we didn't. I can't even remember. I remember some shit, but I don't know. Well, I don't know. Look, look I mean, at you we, now. That is day loss. It's day loss, man. Damn, loss. Picked up on the performing arts later on. So none of the teachers saw it in you? What you mean? Like. I told you how my teacher said what my teacher said about me. Man. Okay. What did they say? Bro, I'm not finna keep repeating the same story. <laughs> he lying. <laughs> That's all you doing. He just told you you ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> you the nigga. So the teacher, man, nobody give a fuck. <laughs> teachers be wrong all the time. All the time. But see, not nah, like and niggas what? be lying about their teachers too. Come on, man. Teacher Te said you weren't gonna be shit. Yeah. She man. didn't even know you was in her class. Man, man. man that teacher ain't told nobody that at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sit down, you little fucker. That's why you never gonna be shit. <laughs> Nigga never went to class. Tell a teacher said he wasn't gonna be shit. The only way that happened is if your daddy was fucking a teacher and he started <laughs> fucking with him or some shit. You and your motherfucking daddy, you <laughs> little motherfucker. That's how you might have got it, but you that's not just no random shit teachers throw out there. Have y'all talked to a teacher since y'all been grown? Like, you know, teacher, she got a class and Yeah. But it don't make you, you think back like, no man, teacher. them teachers really were fucking back in the day. Like they had their own life. They been fucking. They yeah. were fucking while you was in their class. Yeah, but I never thought about it that way. I always think about shit like that. When I be out and I see people, I'm like, ah, they be fucking. That's just petty. So when you was in, in a class, third grade, you knew your teacher was fucking. Yeah, <laughs> she had a daughter. So you went, you went focused on your multiplication, nigga. How'd I get to the fourth grade then? <laughs> yeah, you worry about your teacher fucking. 
you just want to, you just really wish you had a better experience than me in elementary school. Tell us about these other 11 grades. <laughs> yeah. He didn't do shit the rest of the time. <laughs> oh. Fell off immediately after. <laughs> Now, I ain't gonna lie, sixth grade year was a slump. <laughs> sixth grade year was a slump because yeah. I'm coming off that high from elementary. Yeah. So I go to middle school, like, niggas, like, who is that? Like, I went used to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you had to start over. Yeah, Ground so I had zero. to start over. So they didn't know nothing about my elementary That's accolades. what I'm telling you. See, that's how I know you ain't had no juice. They was waiting on me to get to sixth grade. For, from elementary? Like, you gonna be over next year? Oh, <laughs> it been feeling be turned. Nah, I had the by, by seventh grade. grade. I had went on and shook that motherfucker loose. Cause seventh grade, I was on every. Uh, we did teams in middle school, like it'd be A team, B team, C team. So I was on C team at first. The advanced classes, they went on to kick me off. Yeah. Not cause of academics, cause I couldn't. I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, I don't. You lying. <laughs> You fucked up and they kicked you out there. No, no, the, the teachers, you know how certain teachers will come <laughs> talking to you a certain kind of way? I'm like, I'm not one of these nerd kids. Oh. Yeah, I had a little bitch, no, straight off top. Like, hey, you ain't you gonna handle me like kid. that. Yeah, I'm a regular nigga. I'm just smart. Um. Talking about who talking in here? Bitch, me. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? It makes sense. <laughs> Bitch, I got every right to talk like you. The fuck? So it was on some shit like that. Man. <laughs> Nigga been lit since fifth grade. Had a, I had a few down fifth. years. Had a few down years. Nah, this bullshit. Yeah, a few down. You was few I don't up. Know. But fifth grade should have carried you. Uh, see, it you was. You had the tape. Yeah, but Whenever I could just made, carry it around. Yeah, you could have just popped it in. Like one day when they bring in the TV and they like, y'all want to watch. Nah, let's not watch. Leave somebody like me. Let's right, watch. Your, somebody your, told you this story. In school, what was your next hit? Did you have any more hits? Somebody after the Scrooge. Yeah. So eighth grade. You didn't do no play? Damn, you took three years off? <laughs> nah, I'm just wow. saying. Wow. I'm saying, Lowe's, like, I ain't going to say. You know, everybody had them diamond albums. I ain't have diamond album after diamond album. I, seventh grade, I went gold. What you, you know did? What you, so you kept doing plays? Nah, uh, that's when I thought I was too cool for that type of shit. Like, man, that was elementary shit. They were like, no, now, nah, man, you, you, you still now the star. I was like, no, nah, bro, that's, that's not me no more. <laughs> <laughs> so eighth grade. <laughs> Did this eighth grade? People come to the school to do a pep rally for us. So they doing a pep rally. They up there doing something. We need some volunteers to come up here and hype us up. Everybody looking at me. I'm like, man, watch out, watch out. They like, nah. what, what the fuck? So funny. <laughs> Bro, it's gonna be so many people that went to everybody, school with me. Everybody in the, in the auditorium turns, look at this nigga. <laughs> Is he gonna go? <laughs> Watch out, y'all. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. It's your turn again, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> Shuck it. <laughs> nah, Man, you bro. crazy ass. I want two snicker bars. It was like a little freestyle. Get them out, though. I Everybody take the same race. <laughs> <laughs> and he had this wheelbarrow. <laughs> Three legged race. So, me and the white boy Dylan, we got a bandana. We joined at the knee. And we got a rhythm. <laughs> he my height. Right. About my size. It was we no white all this in my school. Ain't nobody fucked with us. And you wonder why I don't let y'all niggas get to know me. <laughs> you know why? Y'all niggas take everything for a fucking joke. So, so eighth grade, you back on their ass. Eighth grade, I'm on their ass. <laughs> now your name ringing. 
<laughs> Again, because you won the sack. Because you knew they was going to jump back on your dick after that. I knew y'all was gonna jump back on my dick. Mr. Scrooge back. Man. <laughs> so eighth grade, then ninth grade. Ninth grade, I had already, you know, come middle school, high school, they're right there together. So they already knew me at the high school, but then I leave from North Clayton, I go to Mac. Now I had to reinvent myself. Cause <laughs> don't nobody know me on the east side. But look, at this school, my mama already told me, she was like, hey, you got a new start. Don't come over here with this bullshit. Just do what you're supposed to do, get your work, and come home. <laughs> and that was my plan. I was like, I'm just going to do my work and like stay out of trouble. Man, I'm in Spanish class. I hear some nigga back there roasting. I'm like, these motherfuckers can't be talking about me. I might have turned around class and said, who y'all boy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said, nigga said, you like one like that? Oh shit. Nigga I turn around, boop, 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 boop. Spanish teacher called my mama. But them girls like, he funny, he funny. And that was it then. It was a rap. Rip that. All what? you needed was the encouragement Come from on, your man. peers. When them females think you funny, bro. I was walking in the hallway, the girl, like, that's that funny boy in my class right there. So I, then I was like, what's up? <laughs> so I hit him with a little what's up, y'all. I hate that he had to throw his whole career away at the other school. Oh, man. This sound like season two right here. Yeah. yeah. Nav. The autobiography. Fresh start. <laughs> they were the fresh start, though, no, for so real. ninth grade, the only thing I got going for me is I'm the new guy, right? I had to reinvent myself. So I dyed my hair blonde. He dyed his hair blonde and his eyebrows. <laughs> they ain't know nothing about the Christmas play, bro. You ain't know, they didn't know. No they clue. Know, they, they still don't have a clue. on. They, if they watching this on the east side right now, they probably like, damn, that nigga been with the acting shit. I never told them. Because I don't, me, I don't like to throw my shit in the nigga face. Go ahead. What's But if they would have saw that Christmas tape, Nigga, Go ahead, please. let's put it out there for the people. Let's get it on to. I want to drop it on the app. Yeah. If we could talk, if that's we could what talk, you was leading up to. If we could talk yeah. percentages, lows. See, he always do that shit, man. If we could talk percentages and license, we'll see. Yeah. Because yeah. I need to still have ownership, but I want you to, you know, you get will. you. You will, you but you it will be so small. <laughs> I own 97%. <laughs> <laughs> you give him a Mr. Wonderful oh. deal. <laughs> you can't even watch the shit when you want to no more. You got to ask me if you can see it. You got to just hope I'm watching it. And then I'll let you watch it with me, but you can't ask me to put it on. <laughs> Why are you a cold nigga? You been hanging around them white folks too much. Fuck you up. <laughs> nigga, fuck you up bad. You sure this is the last copy of this? This is the only one. All right. I think our business here is done. <laughs> Can we see the tape one more time? Uh, it's in my possession. So technically it's my tape and no you cannot. <laughs> well, what you gonna do with the tape? Man. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> uh, nigga just pop up one day and start critiquing me. Aw oh, nigga you went all that on that second show. <laughs> oh man, that first show you was at your best. I guess it was fresh to you but. I could tell you was tired in the third show. But yeah, it was dope. That's funny. <laughs> Just to keep that shit. Then what happened? That's it? You ain't do shit else in high school? In high school? What? Minus? Oh, I did the Your Mama show in high school. Yeah, you were still in high supposed school? To do it. Yeah, I was still. I was in, yeah, I was in high you school. You weren't supposed to be out there. Mm -mm. I remember. And then mm -hmm. they had a big thing about if you could win. Oh, you couldn't win, right? Yeah. It took like about 15 minutes. They said you couldn't win? Not that I ended up winning, though. I remember that shit. They said, don't tell nobody, and you just broke that clause. But it, was, it was the company I was hanging around, dumb motherfuckers. They putting their real age. Damn. 
They said, how the fuck is he 19 hanging with all these 17 and 16 year olds? Yeah, that, that's giving out for major vibes. And, and they asked him, who, who y'all with? And they was like, that's that little funny dude in my class. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, was, he was the mean Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, why? Mr. Screw. <laughs> Bro, why the people ain't when we gotta talk like that? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't like how you, I, what you really think of me, dog? <laughs> like, how you think the people I hang with talk like that? I don't know, I just, that's the Isn't worst. Is that the voice you chose for my company? Yep. <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> he played the main family part. <laughs> so I'm just hanging around with a fucking slow play. Oh, that's what you shit. basically say. Yeah, that's oh. our friend now. <laughs> But I'm like right in the bitch. <laughs> they are. Uh, I thought it was just me. Yeah. I'm high as who though. It's, it's contributing. Yeah, they, they brought out some new lights for this one. Yeah, this like a... So tell us more about 11th grade. <laughs> <laughs> you need to lay out on the couch, don't you? Huh? You need to lay out on the couch, don't you? For what? <laughs> Get this off your chest. Get this off my chest like yeah, a where, What is it leading up to? I, I guess it, <laughs> no. it brings me here. This brings me here. No, I just, I'm just saying. So you basically saying that every year you had to dig deep and find something. See, me the thing. See, that's the difference between me and you. I ain't never had to do that. They always knew I was, I was more consistent. <laughs> you took all them years off. I ain't taking no time off. Yeah, Los, and that's I, the thing. I came to school every day on their ass. Whoever can get it, the and, teacher, and bro, the bus driver. I think you be forgetting when I give you so much props and credit, but you don't remember none of that. I don't. Cause I know I'm not consistent. I take time off for me. I used to start before I even made it to school. <laughs> when I used to ride the bus to oh, school. Oh, I was on the bus on the end. I had the bus driver. He, this, this man had to be probably at, at least 500 pounds. <laughs> but I knew him outside of him. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he ran away. You know. Right. So he's always like, "Cut off, y'all be quiet back there." <laughs> and I used to always repeat everything. He said, "Cut off, y'all be quiet back there." <laughs> it's, hey, I'm saying grandma on you. Hey, I'm saying grandma. <laughs> you ain't give a damn. I ain't give a fuck. Oh, uh, you got to remember. Come back, come back to bring your big ass back here. <laughs> So was he 500 pounds, like is he tall and big? Man, he, short and big? he bad built as hell. <laughs> Literally, this motherfucker oh, 500 pounds, but it's all at the top. Oh, Joe man. Swanson legs. Oh no. <laughs> motherfucking legs, is, they like this. Whether he's standing up or sitting down, the motherfucker is like that. <laughs> what was that nigga name? The motherfucker no. built like one of them, uh, he built like one of them car air freshener trees. <laughs> what is his name? I ain't gonna tell you his name. Don't say his name. I ain't gonna say his name. Don't Cause the people gonna be like, you know he didn't pass away. <laughs> and you shouldn't have been talking <laughs> about him and making that right. You don't got to be saying nothing like that about him at this point. You just need to leave that alone. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Do your little show, but don't talk about my baby. Don't, don't bring him up. Don't bus. bring him up. He, he, he don't drove a bus for the public school system for 35 years. He don't years. deserve that. <laughs> what, what you gonna say if his children hit it? Oh, shit. <laughs> you shouldn't be speaking on people <laughs> like you do. <laughs> everything <laughs> not comedy. <laughs> Hello, don't say nothing else about it. But just show me how that nigga leg falls again. <laughs> <laughs> You did not have to say that. You did not have to say that. Oh. Uh, 
I can't believe y'all. Man. Y'all stupid. I know, man. Did he ever actually tell your grandma on you? Hell yeah. Oh, God, I thought that was, he was just bluffing. Hell yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you gotta rip on the bus. Got to. Oh, bus yeah, was yeah. The best love. Man, I remember I seen a nigga get his ass whooped so bad on the bus, and nobody would stop the fight. I seen this girl beat up a girl on the way to school, beat her all up under the seats and everything. Oh Lord, that's a terrible. Thing. That's the worst place to get your ass whooped on that bus. Cause the bus driver still driving. When a motherfucker jump over them seats, <coughs> bus driver oh, yeah, can't get do one shit. of them diving punches. Yeah. Especially if you had the bus driver like we had, big fat ass man. There. But if you don't connect with that diving punch, y'all cut that out back there. He ain't breaking up shit, is he? Uh, though. Y'all cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> we well, blame you, and you ain't even got shit to do with it. Right. Man, I remember we had this white lady bus driver for the longest. She then went to the office to try to get me suspended off the bus because she said somebody came up to her on the bus and told her I said she was a bitch. <laughs> she didn't ask you, did you say it? She ain't even heard me say nothing like that. She was an old white lady. Man, I had to be about 10. <laughs> That's why you couldn't be in the damn place. You why you called the bus driver a bit. At 10. They didn't try to suspend me off the bus. You, had to, you beat heard. the case though? Yeah, I beat the case. Who they, they wouldn't say who told them. <clears throat> That'd be the crazy part. They never say who told them. Mm -mm. They never say who told them. But they could take their word. Bitch trying to get me for suspended the shit. off the bus. She probably knew what type of kid Los was, <clears throat> so she automatically believed the shit. If he didn't say it out of his mouth, he said it in his head. <laughs> That's, that know. sounds like the I language know. that he uses. Mm -hmm. He gets on this bus and he gets back there with those high school kids and they just curse all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch this, <and> dick that, <laughs> pussy this. And what age you realize you was a good cusser? Oh shit, when I was about Four or five. Four or five years old? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> what about you, Clay? Oh, um, I started probably rocking with it about eight, yeah. seven, eight. Mm -hmm. After I, I saw some stand-up comedy, I saw some stand-up comedy about six. Then I started figuring, I, I, I was putting them together wrong. So I was like, let me figure out how to get them right. Yeah, get the cousin I, I, I came from a cousin ass family. Yeah, my granddad, I learned from him. Oh. Nigga, my I'm talking about a cold my motherfucking mom, cousin. Nah, she's not so much. Mm -hmm. Nigga, he, like, you know, like, you don't talk to babies a certain <clears> way. <throat> Nigga, he Nigga's smooth cuss a one-year-old out. <clears throat> Get that little ugly yeah. motherfucker out of here. You can stop all that goddamn crying little ugly ass. Get his ugly ass back. That is the worst, though. Yeah. Little ugly baby crying. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Loud, too. That's the first thing that happened when a little ugly baby started crying. Hey, who baby is that? Where is mom at? <laughs> hey, somebody need to get that baby. You know, hey, Lowe said he was cussing good at four. <laughs> yeah, I had forgot my Easter speech. And I went up to the front of the church and grabbed the microphone and I said, Ah, oh, shit, I forgot my damn speech. <laughs> Damn, I forgot my Easter speech. What is it? Hold on, let me think of it. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, I can't think of that shit. <laughs> you laughing, it's a true story. Damn, I can't think of you that talking, shit. You, 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 you talking to the mic, man. Oh, shit, I can't remember. <laughs> Fuck, what is it? Damn, damn. <laughs> My mom walked all the way from the back of the church, all the way up there and got me and walked my ass out there. <laughs> what the first thing she said to you, Lo? Man, I'm going I'm, to I'm tear your ass up. <laughs> that was the threat. Well, that was my mom's favorite. Why always ask when you get some shit from my That was my mom's favorite th uh, threat right there. I'm going to tear your ass up. Where you get all that goddamn cussing from? That's real shit, though. What the fuck you think? 
I've been cussing the whole time, though. Curse words. You always cuss as a little kid with nobody around. Fuck. No, I used to get cursed all the time in front, in like in front of people. You didn't give a fuck? Never. Just disrespectful little kid. It's hell. Fuck you, you ugly ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he talking about they lied right. on him. <laughs> I didn't do that one though. Yeah, they got she you saw you doing to somebody else. She like, that bitch know, look like my me. My reputation preceded me on that one. Because even when That's my funny. folks heard it, they were like, your ass did that shit. <laughs> that lady ain't lying on you. I'm like, yes, the fuck she is. See, that's the shit I'm talking about right there. <clears throat> Man, you know what fun that nigga, bro? What? I seen your uncle on the 85 South, uh, on the Facebook, on the Facebook page. What did he say? <laughs> Somebody was like, Man, Los Prada got a cool ass uncle. That nigga said, Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> He damn sure did. <laughs> All my family done joined the group. They be on there defending everything. Bro, <laughs> man, that 85% of Facebook pay, man, they live in their own world. They got, man, they done turned this shit to a scripted series. Like, they. All the questions they be having on there. I wonder what's, what's Clayton got going on. <laughs> he doesn't really say too much about himself. Like, man, if you don't stop overthinking this shit. I wonder man. why they never let J.O. in talk. Ooh, nigga, nobody told him to be quiet. He chose this life. Nigga, <clears throat> they got uh, a, they done started where they gonna be doing trivia, giving out five pieces of 85 South merchandise if you get the trivia right. I'm like, who is funding this establishment they got going on? They got their own budget over there. They got a budget. They got a budget. So they got 85 South trivia? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They say shit like, what year did Clayton English graduate, fam, you? No, they don't. I'm not it bullshit. You got shit like that? No, they don't. All right. What episode was such and such? that question is all the way wrong. Okay. Well, they probably don't get the answers right. They don't know. Yeah. But they get a merchandise out. Somebody going to be under there. Well, technically, yeah. they know everything about us. That's scary, right? That's they got some pictures right? of Nav uh, in an Easter suit. <coughs> When he was about eight. <laughs> they got Nav in the Easter suit. You ain't tell us about the Easter place. They got throwback pictures of us, everything. They got pictures of Chico with hair. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, they, they I took- I don't have no throwback pictures, I'm like a vampire. They took my ass out by my turtleneck, though. Yeah, man. They said I was dressed like Snoop Dogg when he went to the Red Table Talk. <laughs> <laughs> They be on your ass, man. You ain't shit. Oh, man, boy. Y'all nigga for that ass. Oh, hey, what the boy driver said one more time, bro? <laughs> Shut up! You shut out like that! <laughs> and you repeat everything. Shut up! Y'all shut out like that! I do that shit all the way to school. <laughs> you you don't get enough time to mock me. You, you don't get enough time to mock me. Oh, hey. man, terrible. Bro, you know the worst thing when your parents got to come talk to the teacher you sit there looking stupid and fuck like you don't know shit the teacher talking about? Like, I don't do none of that. Man. I remember my dad said man. one time, so, so you telling me the teacher lying on you? I looked at her and looked at my dad. Said, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bitch, I got to go home with them. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Man. Your parents will ride for you too, but be so mad when you when, when you they find out. Now if I go to they'll your school, they'll ride for you. They'll ride for you and be like, "My son doesn't lie." <laughs> and you be sitting there like, <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> yeah. Can't take this one though. She find out you was lying. You maybe go down there. I knew my dad would fuck them when he was calling at the schoolhouse. Now if I go to this schoolhouse. <laughs> I mean, t nigga, it's not a house. Nigga, it's a fucking building. That way you fucking up at all, all the top. <laughs> and nigga, you know I'm lying. You so come on. <laughs> Man. That teacher ain't got no reason to allow you. She got her education already. What do you have? Man, hey, on 
on your That's ass. your problem now. You think you're too grown. <laughs> but I'm finna make you start going to bed early. You can put that game up too. <laughs> hey, hey, you finna put that game up too. You heard what I said? You finna put that game up. <laughs> go, go in your room and unhook that game. <laughs> and put it in my room. <laughs> oh God. Put it in my room. Take that game in my room. <laughs> you can't get that motherfucker back, so they got company. Man, Man go and get that game so y'all get out there with all right. the grown folks right. in here. Right. Oh man. How we all had the same life? Cause we was all fucking up at some point. They got tired of you bringing that game in there. Hey, hey, look at me. Don't touch it. <laughs> and that game better be right where I left it. That damn game. <laughs> we ought to come out with a console and call it <laughs> that, that damn, damn game. game. Play all the old games. But I remember my dad, he told me my game was the reason why his TV was fucking up in the living room. <laughs> so don't look it up no more. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. We still in cable, that's why this shit keep fucking up in the living room. <laughs> that, that damn picture ain't played right since y'all took the game off. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest lie in the black Man, community. Right, the game, that, that game the was going to mess the TV up. Oh my goodness. That damn game. Now, now, they, they say some bullshit now. This TV ain't meant for nothing to be hooked up to. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's an old motherfucker RHF <laughs> hook in the back of this motherfucker. <laughs> this TV ain't perfect. Now, now, this, ain't that, this ain't that kind of TV. This ain't one of them TVs where you just be hooking stuff up to. Yeah, y'all ain't finna put that game on my on my TV in there. <laughs> Take that shit in the back. Wonder why you had no success, nigga. Is you playing on the black and white? <laughs> you don't even know nine inch no <laughs> nine inch TV. <laughs> oh shit, nine inch. <laughs> Square. Oh. Those were the days, man. It's now they got touch. virtual reality. You got an Oculus? No, you got one. Hell yeah, you boxing. What oh, man, I was on the other day whooping the shit out of somebody. That's all I want. I don't know what else they got for you. You got a bag. Oh, you, you use that type of shit to buy yourself, but you use it. I bought him one and I bought me one. So you, oh, you just <clears throat> fuck it. I mean. So you can go to the Metaverse on the Oculus? I don't know yet. You can go, though. Tell somebody you want to go. I'm still taking it step by step. I'm you know I done watched a little porno on there. <laughs> you can look all up in the room, bro. All back here, everything. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Why you want to see the room? <laughs> you see all that shit, man. But you don't see the cameraman. No, I'm just saying. You, no, nah, because because like, if you saw the cameraman, how you see him behind him with no? Ca I'm wow. just saying. Boy, if you look back, some of them you might be able to, but the it's just like. Naked. <laughs> he wave at you when you look <laughs> back there. Yeah, like, if they can't see you, nobody you said, just, it, it, point over with not it's like you being turn in around the footage. There, my That's what it's like. It's like watching, like, you know, you watch a YouTube video, but it's like, now you can see that shit everywhere. You're like, God damn, you can see all this shit up there. That shit crazy. It was, oh, all right. It's made for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's dope. They got games, they got... You could work out, you could watch, it is like you you could actually be there. Like nigga, you can go to performances. Say for instance, you want to watch like that Shaolin Monk shit. Nigga, they like, it's two rows, nigga. So you you can see the shit right there. Like if you would've actually went there and bought a ticket. Yeah. you went to the movie, you watch a movie in the you really Man, I went to fucking Egypt at the pyramids. See, Cat got one. Yeah. Cat probably of. be doing some other shit. That shit ain't even high. I'm scared of it. Yeah, get one. Mm -mm. Ain't shit to be scared of. Yeah. Everybody gonna be strapped to that bitch and living in the. I'm gonna uh, be in that bitch good body. by then. I'll be knocking motherfuckers out with the, with the right controller. <laughs> Lay out, huh? Keep <laughs> thinking about your bus driver, bro. Don't sit down at that. 
Don't make me come back there. You know your big ass can't come back here. <laughs> <laughs> The family gonna hate you over I'm there. I'm telling your grandma on you. I'm telling your grandma on you. <laughs> Close your ass with big cousins on the boat. Hey, man, they was leaving. I, I wish I would have said it before she left. She would have damn sure told you. That's all I used to do, man. I used to talk so much shit on the bus. Damn. Shit talking low. We had the only bus with the, uh, you know how sometimes you get on the bus and at the back of the bus it had them uh, two speakers on the side? Uh-huh. Our bus actually had the radio still in it. Uh. So we used to ride to school in the morning. Like bus 31 always had the, was the bus with the radio. Some motherfucker used to pull up at the school and be playing music on the bus. Whatever on the radio station. Yeah. The bus driver bang some tapes. Yeah, and when man. And a nigga a hard time, he, he played the radio. So what? I still was going to talk shit, whoever it was. Then we had, one time we had an old ass bus driver and Mr. Wilson. Nigga was crazy as hell. He used to try to get me a signed season shit. Oh, niggas ain't going for that. Hell no. Hell no. I was always in the last seat. That was my seat. Not even the big seat, that little stupid ass seat. With the hump? Now that little one that's like a half a seat. Oh, oh <laughs> by the wheel? Yeah, like the very last seat on the in bus. The back. Oh, yeah. When it yeah. ran out of roads and yeah, right. seat. That was my seat. Oh. So the window. So you can go out that little door. Yeah. That was my shit. <laughs> that shit like when the teacher move your seat in the classroom. Hey, bitch. Um, I'm the man in the month. Man, my good no ass teacher going to move my desk. Say this, her desk, right? She put you right there. She going to put me right here at the end of her motherfucking desk. <laughs> like, that's going to stop me. Which way you was facing? Like, because the teacher did that to me, but she had me facing the class. It would just be like, like say teacher. this, <laughs> like, you sitting right here, this the desk, and then she, my desk was right pushed to the end of her desk. Trying to make me look like I'm Hannibal Lecter in this motherfucker. <laughs> make an example of it. Like I'm the worst student. Move man. your desk up here. Hey, hey, keep acting up. Your desk gonna be what Carlos desk is. That's all you was me, your threat. Motherfucker, this shit lit up, bro. School was a motherfucker. That shit changed now, though. Nowadays, these students, they ain't got shit to be scared of. I wonder where I would be in life if I still had to drink chocolate milk every day. You didn't have to. But when you leave the choice up to a kid, yeah. that shouldn't even be an option. I'm just saying, what if I would have just kept that going? With every you meal, you drinking chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. You, you, you might have probably expired. Nigga eating lasagna, salad. And a chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I feel like chocolate milk is more likely to go bad because it doesn't get bought as much. And, in like school, you had to drink chocolate. If you just drunk vanilla milk, like regular milk. You was a killer. Yeah, ain't no goddamn way you could drink regular milk. I want one of the little juices, even with the little nasty stuff at the bottom. Oh, yeah, one of them grape, mm -hmm. orange, them type of juice. Give me a little juice. With the flimsy card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me a little juice. I take the juice. That was a ghetto ass juice too, man. Mm -hmm. Cause they always had like the fruit on there doing some weird shit. It'd be like an orange driving a station wagon or some shit. Like, <laughs> the fuck is this what orange? What got to do with the drink? <laughs> the grape juice nigga just in front of the liquor store. <laughs> what the fuck is this light behind the grape? Hey man, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We've been just talking random shit for about two hours, man. Oh, this was yeah, randomizer. This shit, this shit went by so quick. Swiftly. Swiftly. These lights whooping our ass too. Right, a little bit. We cooked. Yeah. We baked and baked. Twice baked. Y'all had ass system. Yeah. yeah. You went in there? A couple times. Man, I remember one time, no lie. I liked it. I'm sorry. We had got no. in trouble. <laughs> this nigga was like, man, I ain't doing ass system. Might as well just send me home. I had that same approach. That'd be the worst. Man, my mama said, his ass will be in ass <laughs> He is not coming home. Right. I had to go to that shit for uh, Man, Tardis. Man, motherfucking cold. Tardis. Y'all yeah. ISS were cold? Hell yeah. Nigga been in that bitch with the t-shirt yeah. on like this, nigga. 
Which shit was a down? dungeon, Nigga yeah. Nigga be in that bitch like this. A little like, death separated right. and shit. Uh-uh, can't put your head down. Uh-huh. Freezing uh-huh. in that bitch. Nigga be happy as fuck with somebody coming there to bring you some work. Man, you said they changed the tardy policy. Like, you used <coughs> to be able to be tardy for every class five times. Uh-huh. Or six, something, something like that. Before you get detention. And then they made it five all together. From all the classes. All the class combined. So we went from 20 to like five. Cause motherfuckers used to just Chilling go to class on, whenever yeah. the fuck. Man, like nigga, I ain't I got five tarts they, and they about to start over. As long as you don't get the six when you straight. But then once they made it fucking five, after three you get a warning. You get 30 minute detention up. After four, you get like 30 minute detention. Then you you could do fuck. Cause you could do 30 minute detention and still goddamn catch the bus. Oh. But hell, you get that hour detention. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. You gotta walk home before Hell you yeah, wait. you gotta walk home. Now the detention made sure they started as soon as the bus was pulling off. <laughs> They made sure they want to give you no hope of going home. Shit don't stay. Shit don't start at three o five. You know it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Don't be there in three o five. Over with. They ain't even have detention at one school. Them teachers want to stand late. They need to take your ass to the office. The motherfuckers who did like the ISS and the detention. That was all they did. Cool ass little job. They but let they the football coach do an ISS at our mm-hmm. school. So he ain't. Cause they don't know school. shit now that we grown. Yeah. At every school. Football yeah. coaches don't know shit. He's some kind of coach, this motherfucker here. That nigga in there chilling. Talking to other teachers, you might look back. Hey! Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. know when you an ISF, bro, you look for any kind of entertainment. Right. 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 The teacher done stopped by that. Yeah, we right. got a we got a room full of them today. I don't know why they think it's a yeah, they think it's a joke in here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no homework? <laughs> you need no. to be working on that. Don't you have something you need to be doing? Instead of watching us. <laughs> why your ass in here now? <laughs> no teacher, when you get that one teacher you try to show out in front of other teachers and shit. But the crazy part is somebody be like, look, if you get in there and he start talking to Miss Watson, y'all gonna get out of there early. Soon as they get through talking, he gonna let you go. Right. School. Nigga couldn't even go to the lunchroom, nigga. They brought the lunch to you. Yeah. Nigga had to go to the school lunch. Oh, he had to go get it and bring it back. No, nigga, they made us go to lunch in ISS and sit there at the ISS table. Wow, other other people's in the cafeteria? Yeah. Well, that would have been lit, though. At least you no, it wouldn't, nobody, nigga. It feel like you in jail when your friends see you with that group because you got to stay with the group. Oh, yeah, you can't even really speak. Fuck, man. Nigga walking by like, nigga, we see you out here, nigga, you want the milk? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Send my snacks up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Send me mad fruit juices, <laughs> water, juices, whatever, B. man. Apples, oranges, anything. I'm man. hungry, me B. Up, B. It's cold out there, man. <laughs> Yo, son, slap me them Doritos, son. <laughs> I'm gonna take that and put that right here, man. Oh, slime in Niggas do everything box. just so the bag won't be crunching. Nigga, take the Doritos and put them on the notebook paper, oh, have them man. in the desk. Nigga used to put chips on a piece of paper when they give you some chips. That's crazy. <laughs> we were some fucking savages, dog. That's dog, that was, it's because we had too many rules, man. Now they, they don't got all them rules no more. Motherfucker used to take your drink. You can have a snack now in school. Hell yeah. You, My blood sugar's low. That's what you <laughs> you get. You can have your phone and everything. Man, yeah. what? <clears throat> One day I thought my little girl didn't go to school. How she was texting me. Where are you? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm at school. <laughs> they just working off the iPad anyway. Shit, different than fuck, man. Now we're parents. Oh, parentheses. Yeah, I'm, Parental I'm, units. I'm a dad. We all are. Your child is your child is starting school yet. You still like you in that. Oh, he started school. Daycare? No. I'm teaching. He had ISS <laughs> earlier. He was in ISS earlier. Turn around. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> what he had did, Clay? Huh? What he did? Nothing, man. He can't do no wrong. He slapped people all in their face, head butt people. We just let it ride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he a baby. Oh, uh, man, he a baby. <laughs> but the slaps be at, at times when he, he like, oh, okay. Like, sometimes you might be trying to sing along to a song and he'll just pop you in the mouth, like. Shut up. Yeah. Like, that ain't yeah. for you. Yeah, bah. Like, yeah. he'll look at you. Damn. Man, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. We have been out of here. Yeah. It's time to go. This we, shit just was... This was a good. This great, was like the outro. The outro to the album? What album? This was the intro. First quarter, 2022? How's it, how's it treating you? We out of here? We better First quarter was gorgeous, man. Oh, yeah. We still in the first. Yeah, man. Right? But the we score, just is wait. This first? Or this? The score look amazing. Oh, we... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah man, we just over. we just waiting on um, the, the the stock market and shit to go back up. Oh man, oh, look, incorrect yourself. When we get out here, bro. What? What my picture that had fell out the wall? We threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey. No, we threw this shit away. I mean, we, we gave you a chance. And you showed your ass. So. This shit crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean. How loyal can a nigga be? Shit, I mean, it is what it is at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we had to get rid of that shit, though, man. It wasn't, it wasn't your nigga. nigga it wouldn't your best. stay on the wall. It wouldn't stay on the wall. It wasn't your best work. <coughs> Kept falling off. We gonna put the one where you dress like Snoop Dogg on the little <laughs> table. <table-tale. laughs> we got a lot better shit to work hey, with. Hey man, you seen the nigga? He, he had a nigga to put uh, side by side, picking on man. A what? The damn Teddy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh Teddy Bear. They told that nigga like Teddy Bear, <laughs> nigga. I didn't realize how accurate it was until they posted that picture. <laughs> Teddy Ruxman looking <laughs> ass, boy. Uh, yeah, man. All right, man. We did it. We did it. 85 South Show. We out this bitch. <laughs> Yo. Man. That nigga boy. Bus drive. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about that man, dog? Cut out, got me quiet. At least said the family gonna say, he did. Now you going too far. You going too you far. You went too far. <laughs> nah. He ain't here to defend himself. He ain't here to defend himself. You shouldn't have never bought that up. <laughs> <laughs>